Hi, and welcome to the Bible Tribe Word of the Day. I'm Denise Pass with Seeing Deep Ministries, where we see deep in a shallow world and overcome the battles of the mind with the Word of God. We tend to grade ourselves on the curve, right? But something does not have to be extreme in our eyes to be an abomination in God's. We're in today in the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, and the verse of the day is Proverbs 11, verse 1. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. Word of the day is abomination. It is the Hebrew word ta'ave. It means a disgusting thing, an abhorrence, especially idolatry or concretely an idol. The theological word book of the Old Testament says that the RSV reads thing of horror in Psalm 88, verse 8. The frequency of this word attests to its importance. It occurs 117 times in all. A main example is for the notorious abomination of desolation. The abomination may be of a physical, ritual, or ethical nature, and may be abhorred by God or man. Solomon is describing the blessings of the righteous and those who walk uprightly before God. He commences chapter 11 with a strong word, abomination, which is used 12 times in the book of Proverbs alone. Such strong terminology serves a purpose of awakening those who are listening to and living in their sin that is hated by God. God hates sin because He is holy, and sin destroys His people. Sin is not our friend, y'all. According to the theological word book of the Old Testament, in the Old Testament we see that God considers an abomination homosexuality and other sexual perversions, idolatry, human sacrifice, conducting one's business dishonestly, practicing ritual prostitution, and similar acts of disobedience, to name a few. Proverbs 6, verse 16 through 19 tells us things that God views as an abomination as well. There are six things that the Lord hates, seven that are an abomination to Him. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that make haste to run to evil, a false witness who breathes out lies, and one who sows discord among brothers. So if we thought we were safe because we're not doing the obviously abominable sins listed in the Old Testament, Proverbs 6, 16-19 brings things a little closer to home. Pride, deceit, murder, planning and committing sin, causing dissension and conflict. Boom. We are all guilty in some way or another at some point in our lives. It can be subtle, friends. We can dismiss white lies or cover over our sins, but God sees it all. Don't rationalize away sins in the name of freedom or of your personal truth. Come clean every single day. Repent and ask God to help you to hate what He hates and love what He loves. Is there anything in your life today that is a stumbling block to you in your walk with God? Seeing our sins as an abomination might help us to steer clear of those stumbling blocks in our lives. Go with God and His precious word, friends. Join us tomorrow in the book of John.